Have you ever wanted to do this? Well, you're in the right place. What's up guys, it's Andy Filicotti, and today I'm gonna to show you how to replace your phone screen in your photos using Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, it's kind of cliche, Instagram-y, but I like the effect. Yeah, anytime that you see a phone in my photos, I replace the screen because I just want it to look as sharp as possible. I don't want any glares and I don't want any of the interface in the phone. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So for this, we'll be using Lightroom and Photoshop. If you don't have Lightroom and Photoshop, I highly recommend getting it. Uh, it's only $10 a month from Adobe uh, under the Photographer's Bundle. But yeah, once you have that, you'll have full access to use Lightroom and Photoshop. And yeah, let's hop in. So right now we have uh, Lightroom open. I have both images I'm gonna use. I have my image that I'm gonna use to replace the phone screen, and then I'm gonna have the actual photo of the phone. So the first thing I really recommend doing is going into each photo and going to the develop module. And here you'll uh, scroll down and go to lens correction and enable lens correction. The reason I do this is because you won't have the ability to do this later, so it's better just to do it now before you open it in Photoshop. So I'm gonna do that on both images right now. Okay, now that you have both images lens corrected, we're gonna open them both in Photoshop. You can do this by holding Command on both photos. Um, after both photos are selected, you can just right click and then do Edit In and do Open as Layers in Photoshop. This will bring both photos into the Photoshop document for you and they'll both be layers so you can work with them together. So now we have both photos open as layers in Photoshop as you can see here. Um, so what we're gonna be doing, this technique is called masking if you wanna look up more about it. I have a great example for you. So to describe a layer mask, this is probably the easiest way. This, this is a layer mask. So a mask actually is kind of like a blend layer on top that lets you re-add and add areas to the photos. So it's really a lot better than erasing because once you erase, you can't really undo, but this is kind of like adding a layer on top of that that lets you add and subtract. When you're actually taking the photo, I really recommend turning your screen brightness a little higher and putting like a white background on there so it's easier to see the edges. As you can see here, I just did a photo of the sky to kind of match the background. So I'm gonna use the magic wand tool and then I'm gonna select a bit. So see how it's selecting the color here? The magic wand tool will select areas depending on the color. I have the tolerance set to 32, but you can change it. The tolerance will change how much it selects. You can of course hold shift and it'll select things as you go. So as you can see here, by just doing that, we have a pretty good selection of the edges of the screen. So now that you have your photo or screen selected, you wanna add in a layer mask. So you'll see that here on the very bottom of the layers panel. Uh, while you're doing it, if you hold option or alt if you're on Windows, it'll actually create a mask of just that area. As you can see here, the photo below it is showing up. If you do this, it's kind of like a hole through your current image. So I'm actually gonna go into the layer below it and change the size. And just a little tip, if you hold shift and option, it'll keep the aspect ratio, as you can see. You will want to try your best to make it look like it was actually taken on the phone or it's really lined up. I think this works pretty well here. Uh, the bottom's not perfect. So I think that looks pretty good. So if we make a new layer here below the current layer and just fill it with black, and then we could change the opacity of the layer beneath the two, as you can see here. I kind of like to do this and do like an opacity of 90%, kind of make it look a little darker. Sometimes you'll have areas here on the edges that look a little artificial. I like to go through and actually manually fix all the edges. So you'll click back on your layer here. So right now I have a black brush and I'm gonna just slowly go around the edges here. So if you click actually in one area and hold shift and then click in another area, it'll do a perfectly straight line in Photoshop. This makes it really easy to go around the edges. So if you hit save in Photoshop, it'll actually bring it back into Lightroom for you as you can see here. So now you have your combined photo in Lightroom, so you can go through and edit all the changes you wanna make. Once you make your changes, if you notice that something is uh, wrong or you wanna modify something, you can always go back to your Photoshop document. I'll actually keep it up the whole entire time I'm working in Lightroom with it. So if you wanna move the image or maybe replace the photo with a different photo, you can obviously do that. Um, so let's see here, I'll just, I'll just flip this up, upside down for an example. And then once you save again, It'll take a second, but it'll re-import your photo. And once it's re-imported, you'll notice all of your edits are gone. So what you can do is go to history and all your changes actually will still be there. Um, so you can just click on the last change you made and it'll go back and make all the changes you had. So that's it for this tip. A uh, quick change can make a big impact on your photos. Uh, it's kind of fun to add a, your hand in there, a little bit of different things like that. Uh, I know some of this stuff is a little cliche, especially with my feet in this one. Um, you know, there's a reason you haven't seen this photo before, but yeah, just have fun with it and try out a lot of things. And, you know, replacing your, your uh, screen with like a different season is always fun or a different area or maybe like a different time period is good. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to like and subscribe. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram. My username is someguy. Goodbye.
Goodbye. Okay.